Well, The Midnight Bell is the title I've chosen for the piece. It's actually the name of a pub. I came upon the novels of Patrick Hamilton and I thought this is a nice, interesting world to play with. But the ones that we're sort of using for the piece are 20,000 Streets Under the Sky, which is a collection of three novels actually put together, um, which is the one that includes The Midnight Bell Pub. Um, uh, the Slaves of Solitude, uh, which is a very depressing title, but it's actually quite a funny novel about boarding house life. And there's Hangover Square, um, which is possibly his most famous novel. They're the three novels that we're using, but we're sort of integrating uh, characters from other novels. We're basing it on the world of Patrick Hamilton's novels without specifically following one particular plot. It's not the 1920s and 30s that people would normally think of, but this is, uh, his novels are about real people. Um, real working class people and they strike you as being very authentic when you read them. The Midnight Bell themes explore loneliness, obsession, passion, unrequited love, requited love a little bit. It has that uh, feel about wanting to go out and be with people. It's about sort of people who are very isolated and, and probably a little bit about loneliness in some ways. But the pub was a place you would go to to not be on your own. And that's the reason they come there, you know, and, and it's about their lives and it's about connecting with people again. Um, that's why it seems so relevant to, to what we're going through at the moment. I think the acting will be very strong in this piece complicated but emotional relationships and very real relationships on stage and definitely humour. Working with Matt over 18 years is full of surprises. I don't think you could ever sort of guess what's going to happen in a new creation of Matt's and obviously with the collaboration with Les Bluston, you know, what a dream uh, uh, and also Terry Davis. So. We've seen some set designs, we've seen some costume, um, and it's all looking very exciting. It's been a wonderful time being back in the studio. Um, just walking into a space and seeing a lovely group of people, being able to do my job again. And for the dancers and Matthew to be able to work again in the way that we're used to. I feel excited, but I also feel quite emotional because it made me realise how much I've missed it for the last year and how much it means to me to be in the studio creating and coming up with ideas and, and just collaborating. For me, it's when you're in the wing and you hear the orchestra, you hear the audience all getting ready, it's sort of the adrenaline starting to like boil inside you and then you're like, okay, this is real. So it's just actually, you know, hearing that this is going to happen is, and, it, and there's, there's that no feeling like it really. It's, it's something that I would never take for granted again. I spend a lot of time with my audiences and our audiences for New Adventures. You know, I, I like to spend time within the audience, as people know, and anyone who, who follows the company regularly will know that they can catch me in the audience. I think I've probably missed that the most, that feeling of sharing and the coming together of uh, people to experience something and to see once again if the show works with that group of people it's different every night and that's that's why we love it so much <laughs>